what's up, guys? You might be lost right now. You may feel like I'm supposed to be on a path. I'm hearing about people talk about some kind of guidance or a path here. Family, you might be on a path and you might have no clue. This path, it may feel insanely confusing to you. You may be piecing together ideas and building your path by what you can find here and there from friends, maybe from family that don't even know what we're talking about right now. What I'm speaking about right here, family, is an awakening, something that has been spoken about for ages. Although many of us, we may have this video coming across our screen and feel like this is cringe. I don't know what this fool is talking about, but I've heard about it here and there. But I labeled it cringe a long time ago and I'm going to again. And they skipped the video. It's not meant for them just yet, family. Their path will unfold and there will be something along their way that will lead them directly to the spiritual knowledge that they need for their lifetime. But in this lifetime, family, what I'm speaking about has happened to you. If you're continuing this video, if you're paying attention to this, if this resonates with you, if it feels comfortable with you, you've gone through something that none of your parents or friends or government or whatever, nobody's told us about this. The information has been there, like I said, for ages. We could look into spiritual books. We could look into the holy books. And yeah. Now that this has happened to us, we could read along and start to pull things from, from them and get a grasp on what is going on here. But previous to this knowing of what is even happening to us, we had no clue. It was like this information did not exist. I talk about it a lot. It's everywhere in front of us, in the most obvious of places, and we could not see it if our life depended on it. Now, if you think about that, if it's everywhere, and we don't blatantly know it, wouldn't you think that there's a reason why? We're not going to get into that in this video. There's always something. I just want to throw it at y'all. I just want to give y'all a little food for thought, just something to think on every now and then. It's up to you. You come to your own conclusion on it. Regardless, this has happened to you. You're feeling unsure. You're going back and forth on, am I going crazy? Is my life changing for the better? Is this like a midlife crisis? I'm only like, 20 some years old, I'm only 20 to 30. What is this? What is going on? Family, there's people 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I've seen it through all ages. They're going through this right now, an awakening. And a path is unfolding in front of them and their awareness has risen to a certain level where they can recognize that they are now, they have always been, but now recognize that they are connected with everything that this planet is. And just previous to this, our level of awareness, it wouldn't show us this. It's like we just got a new cheat code for the next level up. Now, I don't wanna make this sound like greater than thou or something. I'm just making the videos because I want people out there to feel some sort of safety and comfort in something that they may be completely lost on. And for everybody else that thinks it's cringe or this person just wants to be Mr. Ego, whatever y'all feel, you can click off the video and go to anything that feels comfortable for you. This video is for the people that feel unsure or those that just enjoy keeping up with spiritual info along the way. So family, the best way to handle this path of unfoldment, I like to say it unfolds right in front of us, just like a red carpet. Could you imagine if some red carpet just magically unrolled in front of you? Just a foot in front of you, it's constantly unrolling. As you're walking, you're moving ahead, you're moving forward in life. This red carpet, it just continues to roll out for you. Imagine your life in this way. You are being guided now. And you are being guided to your highest timeline, like you hear. You can make decisions to step off that timeline. But like I said, you are being guided. And when I mean guided, they may not be clear red stop signs and green lights all along the way but they're going to be things solely for you. And it may still feel exactly the same as it did a year ago or before this has happened to you. You may be going through your everyday life and it feels normal, but you'll notice along the way now that you're more connected and paying attention to life's little subtleties that certain things along the way, they were just meant for you. 
it might not be like an amazing gift or prize or something, but just a scenario. It might be a, a materialistic item that was needed for you at that point in time. I want you to start to recognize these subtleties in your life and start to appreciate them. It will allow you to feel more comfortable and more aligned with this path. Your awakening is unfolding because you are supposed to learn your true spiritual being and get back in touch with that family. And something about you is capable of sharing it to the world in such a way that the world will understand it. You might be saying, well, right now I say a few words to my closest friends that understand me completely. My family, they know me so well. I say the words to them and they just start to go blank. Or they go in the other room, or they just get back on their phone, or they change the subject altogether, whatever. You're telling me that these people, they're not even listening to you. And I understand. It happens exactly the same for me. But what I mean is, there's something so perfect about you. You're made to relay these messages to certain people. It could be one person on this planet for your lifetime that you're supposed to relay some sort of message. Something in some certain way that only you know how and it causes natural order to lay out in its perfect foundation. This is why you're here, family. This is why it has happened to you and your family does not understand these things yet. This is why your friends think you're cringe or weird for right now. This is right on the breaking edge of this starting to really start to pick up in the world right now. I made videos about that too. You can see it. spirituality goes viral. You can see it in social media. I've talked about it before. My accounts, I have multiple. I stay on one. It has heavy spirituality on it. If I switch to my older accounts and never have liked or got into spirituality on those, in the explore page, going through just my friends' accounts, it's making its way in just day-to-day -day life, family. If you've ever seen the snake circling around eating its own tail, this is life's cycle, evolution. Although in a way, evolution, you'd think it grows and changes and changes and changes. In the same way, there's going to be change. But we come back to these clear certain cycles that cause natural order to continue to act itself out in the perfect way that this powerful being, God, the higher power, whatever. He created it. She created it. It created everything to lay out in this perfect form and continue on into infinity. And it just regenerates and regenerates and regenerates. This is the symbol, the snake eating its own tail. You could imagine life in this way. This point in time right now, we're going through the feelings of what the age of Aquarius is. And it's nonchalantly in the background. Most people don't even know they're being affected by it. They're being guided, being pushed, waking up one day, feeling a little bit more happy, feeling a little bit more agitated. These feelings given to us from the celestial beings in the atmosphere, they send us these energies to feel certain ways on certain days. What do we do when we feel one way on one day or another way on another? One day we're going to act out certain things. Another day we're going to act out different types of things. These energies being sent to us allow natural order to enact itself. And in this giant grand scale of multiple ages and the ages bringing these different types of energies, causing us to act out different types of acts, bring in new revolutions, new mindsets, all types of things that start to change the world for that point in time, all done by natural order. And we sit back thinking, no, I went to the store today. I put the gas in my car, so I drove. I did all that. Continue to feel however you want to feel about it. I'm just giving you the background details so you can get a better understanding of all this. And if you start to put all this together in your mind, you will see how this all plays itself out. And we just think that we control every bit of it. You might want to look into it a little bit more. Family, as we go through these strange feelings and don't have many people to share them with, 
I feel it important to bring these videos to y'all because this is something that's like we turned our whole life upside down. To go through something and it's not readily available, it's not everywhere in pop culture, not everybody's been talking about it our whole life. It's so strange. There's not much reassuring about it other than the little synchronicities, the little subtle details along the way that we get to pick up and feel that this is my path. I was supposed to see that. I was supposed to find that. Those are those moments that give you that reassurance that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. You're not behind. You're not slow to this game. In fact, if this has happened to you and you're recognizing this and you're watching my videos right now, you're actually a little bit ahead of the game. And there's many people out there that are still behind on realizing what's going down on this planet. So family, this is just something else I wanted to throw at y'all today. Talk about your path unfolding and let you know that it unfolds right in front of you. And there are guides all along the way, but they may be so subtle that you do not recognize them as giant big birds, giant red signs, green lights that are just blinding you. They may be small little details, but once you notice them, or once you start to really care to start to focus and pay attention to these things, you will find this happiness and you will find that safety that you feel like you need in this unsure time on your path. And you will feel proud to continue walking. Family, my name is Macaulay Sage. I wanted to bring this to y'all today. Another reassuring message to those going through this awakening process, unsure on um, what to do next. One last thing, family, get into meditation. Figure out some practice that works for you and feels comfortable to you and start that. Like I said before, I'm going to bring more meditation videos. I'm going to bring you some where I lay out a set process on what you need to be doing from ancient cultures that they've used for centuries. Family, my name is Macaulay Sage. I appreciate all y'all for stopping through once again. Much love. Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace.